You just had to remove someone from a photo on your iPhone. Now, if you're on your iPhone and you have an image with somebody in it and you wanted to remove that specific person from the photo, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Now, the first thing that you can do is go to the App Store here and let's just search for Snapseed. Oh, if I could type Snapseed and go there. So there are a bunch of different photo editing apps. This one is by Google. It's completely free, which is one of the reasons I like it. But of course you can go to any other photo editing app if you want to use other ones as well. A lot of them have this. So I'm gonna use the Snapseed as an example, just download and install it. Now that we've done that, let's open up Snapseed and tap the plus. And I'm gonna hit open from device and let's just find a random photo. Let's scroll down and say, this is a photo that I wanna use. But say I want to remove this person from the photo. I'm gonna tap on tools at the bottom here and then healing. And now it will give me the ability to zoom in and I can do this healing brush just by taking my finger all the way over this person and then letting go. And just like that, it removes them from this image. So, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's zoom back out because there's another person as well at the edge. Let's zoom into the very edge here and I will remove these people from this edge here. So you can see I've selected all of them and it does a pretty good job removing all those people. So just like that, I can hit the check mark at the bottom right and you can see it looks pretty darn good. For a completely free service, it has removed those people. Keep in mind, depending on the background and how much action there is and differences and all that stuff, it might do a better job on some photos, various other ones, it might not do as good of a job. Now let's just hit export here. And then you can do a couple different things. You can hit save, save a copy, you can hit export, you can share it if you wanted to share this on social media, on a text message, anything like that. But let's just hit save here. And just like that, it will save it to your photos and then you'll be able to use it anywhere else without the people in that photo. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.